the doctrine of universal jurisdiction has been invoked as a judicial response to international crimes. And um, from the precursors of international law to the present day, the international community, international community has considered or consolidated the idea that the nature and seriousness of certain crimes transcends the responsibility of a particular sovereign state and affects humanity as a whole. So the doctrine seeks to empower courts, no, no matter where the offense was committed and no matter who the accused persons are, to invoke this doctrine to hold accountable people who commit such international crimes. This, make all, this doctrine makes all states responsible for identifying and pursuing those crimes to prevent a situation of impunity for the perpetration or the perpetrator. So this is a third limb which um, it is arguable uh, the courts in Ghana and uh, the Attorney General can invoke in order to bring the IIGM to justice. Of course, the last hurdle is the extradition. We have to get Jame into this country. And um, that, that also is a political matter, but it's my hope that uh, if the government uh, takes seriously, and I, and I hope it does, uh, the, the president did indicate that he, he considers the matter to be a very, a very serious matter, which he's going to take a very serious look at, that he will do what is necessary to ensure that uh, the Ayajama is, is extradited to this, uh, to this country to face, uh, you know, the law. I think that given the evidence that has been compiled and the gravity of the offenses which has been demonstrated by uh, the, those who have testified to it, I think uh, the mom a, a, a momentum can be gathered to ensure international support for a request for inter a extradition of Yaya Jame to Ghana to face, you know, trial in Germany.